Hello and welcome to this tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a sticky nav bar using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So I've already prepared this HTML document here and if we take a look at the markup you see that there's a little bit of content, the h1 header, then there's a nav bar which is a nav element containing an unordered list with the menu items and then underneath that is the main content on the page. And if I scroll down this page you see that as of yet there is no sticky effect on the navbar. But I have already created a sticky class in CSS. So if we take a look at that, what this does when it's applied to an element is it will keep it in a fixed position. So if I add the sticky class to the navbar, you'll see that the navigation now it stays in the same position when I'm scrolling down the page. But of course that's not the effect I want. So I'm going to remove the sticky class because what I want to happen on my page is I want the navbar to be initially not sticky and then at the moment that the user has scrolled down to here at this point I want it to become sticky. So the approach is going to be to add the sticky class dynamically using JavaScript to the nav element when we reach this point and then when we go back up the page to remove the sticky class from the nav element when we get to this point so we can see the content above the nav bar. So for this we're going to be using a little bit of JavaScript. So my script is down here and I've already selected the nav bar element. So what I need to be able to calculate is the distance between the top of the nav bar and the top of the visible page so that I know that when the page has been scrolled by that amount to dynamically add the sticky class to the nav element. Now luckily there's a property on the nav element that can give that distance to us and that is offset top. So I'll save that in a new variable called nav offset. Now in addition to knowing the distance between the top of the nav bar and the top of the visible page, I also need to know when the user has scrolled down by that amount because it's at this point that I want to add the sticky class to the nav element. So to do that you want to add an event listener to the window object and you want to be listening out for the scroll event. So this event fires every time the user scrolls up or down the page. Now what you want to do each time the user scrolls is to check if the distance between the top of the visible page and the top of the nav bar exceeds that distance nav offset and if that is the case then you want to add the sticky class to the nav element. So you can do that by adding a conditional statement here and what you want to check is if window page y offset that is how far the user has scrolled down the page is greater or equal to nav offset. So if this is the case and the user has scrolled down the page a greater distance than nav offset then we want to add the sticky class to the nav and you can do that by saying nav.classList and then calling the add method and we want to add sticky to the class list and then for the else statement we're going to do something similar apart from we're going to be removing the sticky class. Okay so if we see how this is working live on the page now if I scroll down at this point the nav bar it does become sticky but it's in the wrong position. We want it to be at the top when the sticky class is added. So we can easily fix this by heading back up to the sticky class in CSS and saying that we want the position of the nav bar to be top zero, so zero pixels away from the top. And now you see we get this sticky nav bar effect. But there's still one more issue to fix here. And you'll see it if I scroll slowly down now you see at this point the text jumps as we reach the nav bar. So to fix this I'm going to add a little bit more CSS. I'm going to say sticky class and then use the adjacent operator main which is the element that follows it. So what this is saying is that when the main element follows the sticky element which only exists when the users scroll down the page by nav offset then some styling should apply to main. Now what you want to do to offset that jumping 
is to add some padding or margin to the top of the main element. So I'll say here margin top 70px. So this is something that you definitely need to play around with to get right. So before this tutorial, I checked and a margin at the top of 70 pixels was about right to offset that jumping. So if I refresh now and I go down, you now see that there's barely any jumping when the nav bar becomes sticky. And that is how you can create a sticky nav bar even if there's content above it. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, please consider hitting the like button down below because it helps us with the algorithm and others to find the video. And if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.